Hey animal fans, I'm Kevin from the Minnesota Zoo, and when we hear the word dinosaur, certain images spring to mind. Most of us had dinosaur toys or watched dinosaur movies growing up, and we probably also had a favorite dinosaur. Mine was the super intelligent pack hunter with a wicked scythe claw on its toe, Deinonychus. Maybe you thought I was going to say Velociraptor, because popular culture has taught us that the dinosaur I just described is a raptor. In reality, however, Velociraptor was much smaller than the one seen in Jurassic Park, and unlike the Toronto NBA mascot, it may have had feathers. But if Velociraptor was small, feathered, and didn't necessarily hunt in packs, what other popular dinosaurs have we been misled about? Well, for starters, there's Brontosaurus, the long-necked dinosaur that should never have existed. Although for years scientists thought Brontosaurus was its own distinct species, it's actually exactly the same animal as Apatosaurus. And since the name Apatosaurus came first, Brontosaurus is simply a superfluous synonym. You might recognize Dilophosaurus by the sludge-like toxin it spits, its colorful peacock head fan, or by the twin crests that run along the top of its head. Or maybe just by the crests. Dilophosaurus means double-crested lizard, but there's no actual evidence to suggest that it could spit toxins or that it even had a head fan. Imagine for a moment you're a time explorer and you've gone back to the Cretaceous period. As you hack through the forests of South Dakota, you find yourself face to face with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now your first instinct is to remain absolutely still because Tyrannosaurus's vision is based on movement. So if you don't move, he might not notice you. Then you get eaten because Tyrannosaurus's remains suggest it had at least fairly good visual acuity and a great sense of smell. So your best bet in that situation is to run. Because there's still some disagreement among scientists on whether Tyrannosaurus's legs could propel its massive body faster than a human can sprint. So maybe not everything we've heard about our favorite dinosaurs is true, but then again, it's difficult to study animals that nobody's ever encountered in person. Probably the closest you can get is the summer dinosaur exhibit at the Minnesota Zoo. But be careful. We're only 99% sure they're not real.